extremely hot or cold weather, water demand with it tends to run high. Yeah, now James Fork Water System customers in South Sebastian County, along with residents in Boonville, being asked to conserve water again. Five News reporter Kayla Davis spoke with the Water Department Management to find out why this is happening and how long it should last. James Fork Water System and the Boonville Water Department have both asked their customers to limit water usage for the foreseeable future. They say freezing temperatures lead to residents running their faucets, more usage, and eventually more leaks. Boonville Water Department Superintendent Brian Schultz says while the conservation notice is a preventative measure, it can quickly turn into a dire situation. The water plant today produced about 800,000 gallons more than normal and our levels are still going down. So basically we're operating off our storage tank. But one restaurant in Greenwood says it's very difficult to conserve water. You use water for cooking, water to wash your hands, water for many things. So we're trying our best, but there's not much we could do. Officials say when temperatures drop, residents tend to open their faucets to a steady flow like this one, rather than an actual drip. While it seems like a super small change with thousands of residents, it makes all the difference in water conservation. Schultz also encourages residents not to drip every faucet in the home. We don't need to be running water in rooms that are not on an exterior wall. Only the water lines that are in an exterior wall in a building are the ones that are in danger of getting froze. While James Fork says it could be a few days before they remove the notice, Boonville says they should be back to normal by Friday. In Greenwood, covering news where you live, Kayla Davis, 5 News. Schultz also recommends homeowners should close their vents in the crawl spaces, remove water hoses, and cover outdoor faucets.